Hello everyone, my name is Tanya and I want to thank you for pressing play and joining me for this discussion today on North of the Fray. If you have not, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And don't forget to share the content if something here has helped you. And I truly appreciate the support of each and every one of you. And I hope that you would continue to return and give me your input on the things that I share here. So in advance, please forgive me. I am stuffy. I sound, I have that stuffy sound because I've been under the weather, but I am feeling so much better. May not sound like it, but I do. And I want to share something that has been on my heart with you all, because I noticed that a lot of people say that they're afraid of telling what happened to them, or they don't know who to talk to or where to tell it or who to go to. And my advice is start talking wherever you're at, record it on your phone. If you want to make a YouTube channel, do that. If you want to write a book, do that. It is your story. And I can't remember the author's name who said, if people wanted you to write warmly about them, then they should have behaved better. I'll find her name and put it in the description below. But that's just the matter of fact if they wanted you to say something nice about them, then they should have been nice to you, but they weren't. And so that is a part of your story and your right to tell it. You have the right to tell what happened to you and what you went through. You also have the right to take accountability and still tell your story. So you may have participated in some things that you um, are not proud of, that you're ashamed of, but that's okay. We all have. I have my moments and I shared earlier on the community board where I was a flying monkey. I believed lies that were told to me and then I lashed out at someone because I thought I knew what I was talking about and I had no clue of what was going on. So I had to take responsibility for that, but it doesn't take away from the fact that I was still in an abusive situation and I'm going to tell my story no matter what anyone says. And you have that right. See, with gang stalking people, people start to gang stalk you and flying monkeys start to come out of the woodwork when you decide I'm going to speak up and I'm going to say something. These people will come out and they'll try to keep you quiet. They'll try to tell you to shut up, tell you that you're wrong, call you out of your name, you know, say whatever they can. They're scrambling. It's like when you walk into a room that's dark and you turn on the lights with your story. They're like roaches. They're running and scrambling for the dark. They do not want to be in the light. They don't want to be exposed. They want you to turn the light off. They want you to go back to sleep. But you have to refuse to do so. You have to stand in the truth of what happened to you because the truth always stands the test of time. What is done in the dark always comes to light, period. There's no exception. It always does. Not sometimes, always. We don't know when that time is for some people, but it always does. And your story of truth is always true. No matter what people say about you, no matter what's done to you, none of that matters because God knows the truth and God is always in control of the truth. God will always deal with those who want to move around in the dark. But Ephesians 5.11 tells us that we are to take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them, expose them. That's our duty. It's our responsibility to guard our own hearts, right? Setting boundaries. And it's also our duty to expose wickedness that is in the way or in the path that we're on. And so don't feel bad about it. Don't feel like you owe someone something. Don't feel afraid of people. People cannot take away the truth from you. They can't take your story away. They just want to try and intimidate you. Some people are more aggressive than others and it is scary. And sometimes you might want to move away from the area that they're in. And God says in number 16, 26, that sometimes, yes, we do need to move away from the wicked. So you have to get away from where they're at because they are dangerous. But that doesn't change the fact that the truth is the truth and you are allowed to tell it. 
Don't be ashamed of it. Don't be afraid of them. And I think that I'm just at a point now where I don't care what people have to say. I know what happened. I know my story and I'm going to stand in it. And I'm always going to tell it because there are so many people that reach out to me to say thank you for saying something. They felt like they were the only one in the situation. But because I spoke up, they felt like they were empowered with just the encouragement that they're not alone. And it helped to start them on a path of telling their story. That's what I want to do. Encourage you guys. You don't need to be afraid of the gang stalkers. They're always going to be there. They become irrelevant and you don't even notice them after a certain amount of time and in the word with God and prayer. And over time, as you grow, you don't, care about what they're doing. Just think about Jesus. He was followed by people all the time. Gang stalkers 24 seven people who wanted him to shut up. They did not want him to tell the truth because they were doing their own thing. He was walking into temples, turning up tables and everything and calling people out, calling Judas out. I mean, Jesus called people out. He was when he walked into town, the lights were turned on and the roaches were scattering hiding behind corners, following him, trying to get other people to be their flying monkeys and do their work. So don't be surprised that they're doing the same to you. It's the same spirit, different time. Okay. So what they say, same dog, sometimes just different tricks. And that's what we've got to remember. So I want you guys to feel empowered, feel encouraged that you deserve to tell what happened to you. You deserve to live in peace and you deserve to live without being afraid, to live without fear. I hope this message was a blessing for you. I know it was quick, but please take it to heart and go ahead and go out there and help someone with your story. God bless you. Take good care.